perspective on skills, size, strength, etc. Mm -hmm. How was he kind of performed? He also, he was uh, he was invited to the East West Shrine game. We got that yesterday, and uh, and Markel was invited to the tropical I think it was tropical bowl down in Daytona Beach. So I just got that information yesterday. Gave that to them this morning. When when Foley Foley's done some really good things this year. And if Foley, when Foley just goes and comes off the ball and attacks the guy, the center, he's pretty good. You know, Foley gets himself in trouble when he starts to freelance a little bit. He comes and tries to swim and do some of those things. So I would, to answer your question, I would say that his play has been inconsistent. Uh, it's been good when he's done those things that we've asked him to do. And then when he hasn't done those things that we asked him to do, he hasn't been the kind of player that he, that he really could be. And that's been our, our challenge and Coach uh, Carter's challenge is to get him to do that all the time. And because now he can, he can knock the center back and that's one of the things that we want him to do. And when he does that, he comes off and uses his hands and all those things, he's, he's good at that. But when he tries to do some other things, and, you know, then he's not as uh, functional and not as good as he, as he can be. And that's gonna be his, you know, that's going to be his challenge, you know, moving forward. You know, doing the things that people ask you to do. If he's, if he's got, a, if he gets an opportunity, then, you know, he's going to have to do that. Because if he doesn't, you know, they won't, people won't keep you right. I see Ryan Gil Martin's getting the start uh, with Junior out for the first half. First time we've really seen him on the depth chart, really. Um, <clears throat> what have you seen from him throughout the course of the year that he's gotten better? Uh, well, the one thing that I, you know, I saw, you know, I saw him, Yet, you know, where he where he's, uh, does have some, he has some physicalness to him. You know, I, I think he felt a little bit sorry for himself at the beginning of the year. And uh, that maybe he should have been doing a little bit more. And then I think he just said, hey, I'm going to go and do it. And you can see him start to progress and get better and, and those things. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting to, to watch him play um, on Saturday. Because again, it's his, it's his opportunity there to go in, you know, for a half and show what he can do leading into, you know, next year. So what he needs to do is he needs to take advantage of the opportunity that's presented to him, you know, on Saturday. And then we'll evaluate it and we'll, we'll go from there. I think he's strong. He's got the strength. He's a strong kid, you know, now. And, and he looks, you know, looking at the things there, he's got a good sense of things. But now how is he going to really react when he's in there? You know, under the spotlight. You know, so that that's gonna, and, and I hope he does well. I want him to do well. But now he's got that opportunity. Now, just go and play and have fun, and take advantage of it, read your keys, and, and play fast. I saw him on the field in the second half against BC. How did he react to you, or how did he look I thought, he good, I thought he did some good things. I thought he went in and, and did the things that we asked him to do. Now, are you going to do that this week, or are you going to try to go out and make plays and and not do your job? You know, that's all we need him to do is go out there and do your job, do it physical, and you know, if you do that, then the the productivity should show up, you know, on the film. What would you like to see out of Pendell on Saturday? Like another step for him? What would you like to see? Well, again, I think the thing is, is just for David, is just not to turn the ball over. You know, if we can, and again, make the right reads and be more aggressive, um, you know, with all his things that he's that he's doing, and then. You know, just constantly get back there and just drive the ball. You know, and, and continue to be, get better fundamentally. If he can do though, if he can do the, take a step in that direction, then uh, you know, I'll be I'll be pleased with with that. You mentioned the losses aside. How has the season been for you personally, on and off the field, coming back your first year? Have you had a chance to think about that? Yet? Is everything you thought of being on and off the field? Mm. Try rather than wait and ask, answer that after the season's over. You mentioned Kyle Buss is back. Uh, clearly, a tough time that he's going through. How has the team helped him rally uh, behind what he's he is dealing with? Um, I know he feels he feels good to be back here. Uh, what he went through and, and what he's continuing to to go through uh, is very tough for a young man his age to have that kind of um, um, responsibility on his shoulders, but this is good therapy for him to, to be here, you know, with his teammates, and for his teammates to be able to help him through, you know, this time. And um, 
So, you know, again, I just think it's one of those things where it's good for him and, you know, everybody's trying to, to do everything they can to, to help him along because it is a, it is a difficult time, you know, for him. And, and um, you know, they, they he's still got to have some things that going to be, you know, that he still needs to go through that's, he's going to, he's, he's just going to need a lot of support from all of us. Randy, you've had a lot of praise for Ryan Van Mark throughout the course of the season. Is he someone you, you noticed right away, uh, or did he kind of slowly grow on you? Or? Well, you saw the athleticism. You saw, you saw his um, work ethic. And um, you saw that with some of the things that we do, um, you know, offensively, um, that he could be pretty good at. And you knew that there was going to be some things uh, because of his weight and strength um, that he would he would struggle a little bit. But you knew you were going to get his best effort, you know, each and every snap. Um, and he's a guy that's gotten better. You know, he's a guy that I think will will be a leader um, as he continues through his career here. You know, he's he's. You know, he's working hard to try to put on weight and, and do those things. And now I think just by him having, you know, this year under his belt, and it's going to help him and help us um, moving forward. But he has, you know, he has the, uh, the talent to be pretty good. I mean, he, he, he battles, you know, and to play, to play offensive tackle as a true freshman is hard. To go against some of the guys that he's had to go against, you have a tremendous amount of respect for his competitiveness and his want to, and, and all he's going to do is just get better because he has that, he has the ability, and plus he has the right mindset. Eddie Hunt back at defensive back from from linebacker. You can answer that question. You know, injuries. You know, we have to we have to move some guys around. That's why Tyler had to go back to safety, and Omar went into Husky and. You know, just because of the injuries, and you know, the good thing is those guys. That, you know, Tyler's played back there before. Do you like to do that? No, but that's what you have to do to, to give the team the best opportunity to try to win. You know, this week. So, and then some other guys have to move because if you get somebody gets hurt and goes down, you know, you can't take a guy from this position, move him there, and doesn't get any reps during the week. And so, it's you know, it's that time of the year you know, where you have to, you know move the pieces around a little bit to, to be able to get the things you, you have to have and just be, for what if, so in case you do get some injuries, and hopefully we don't, but if we do, then at least we, we got the best possible situation to uh, handle those, those, uh, those injuries. Does that speak to the versatility of some of the guys back there that you can plug and play a little bit? What's that? Does that speak to the versatility of some of the guys, especially on the back end, that you can plug them into different yeah, areas? Yeah, I mean, it does because, again, it, and then again, but there is a difference, you know, in playing six to six, five to six yards from line scrimmage and ten in terms of space and, you know, what you're going to see passing game wise and all those sort of things. So, you know, I think it's a credit to a guy like Tyler Coyle who has that ability to, to be able to play down in the box. And, you know, a lot of times when you have safeties like that because that have that kind of ability, if you're going to go in and play, whether it's a nickel scheme or a dime scheme, they got to go down and play those, you know, play what we call as the Husky anyhow. So, you know, that can be interchangeable. And plus with him being back there before, um, we thought that was a better move to move him back and keep Omar. And we think Omar's probably a little bit better 